Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. My name is Joel from Easy Engineering and today we're going to be talking about how to create some interesting textures and atmospheres without actually synthesizing them. So we're going to be using Isotope Iris for this example. It's a great tool. It's incredible. I've only just scratched the surface, but what I love about it is that it gives you this kind of interactive frequency content device or where you can kind of select which frequency of the sample you're using to obviously play out and then you can manipulate that in certain ways and everything like that so yeah that's why i use it it's it's really really cool so obviously this is the sound that i've just made i'm, I'm still working on that same track and i figured yeah let's try some atmos so yeah let's just write, run you through so we're gonna open up a whole new iris and then next thing to do is select a sample so you want to obviously select a sample All right. that kind, um that kind of resembles um an atmos or a pad like sound don't go for a pad i mean i think that's kind of making your job a little bit easier let's you know you want to kind of think outside the box a little bit and i mean you know if you're able to you can use a snare if you wanted to but i want to try and go for something with a little bit more harmonics so just bear with me while i try and find something <laughs> Okay, let's try it with this. Why not? Feel the music. Okay, so here you go. You have your interactive frequency content that I was talking about. I mean, you can see that you've got your standard sampler, you know, parameters, loop start, loop end, crossfade, offset, you know, delay, everything like that. Now you also got your modulation center where you can add LFOs and, and you know, obviously emulate that. You got your envelopes, you got your controller, you got your macros, send effects, pitch controls, and gain controls, your standard, you know, amp amplifier kind of controls over here your master filter and your master effects and then here's your sample over here so uh, let's change it to radius rt because i think we want to try and again get that drawn out kind of feel to it and let's just play around with the playback of it so we're going to load in just a nice little midi clip over there i'll solo it for now cool sounding cool already now over here you got your controls where you can kind of go in and select which frequency content you want i uh, really like this so let's try that you do, you know just play around with it see what works see what doesn't choose the one that works <laughs> I like this. Let's see what I can do.
Okay, so I've got a little bit of something to work with over there. Let's give it a little bit of context, maybe. I'm not really going to touch any of the modulation for now. Pretty much happy with how it sounds in here. And then you can obviously go in and add a few more effects. So uh, let's add a nice phaser into it. go in and just kind of uh, random Glitch effect, I don't know. Doesn't really work out most of the time. And there you have it. So that's pretty much it. It's a really great technique. I've always used this. I love using this. It's just always given me such interesting and intricate sounds that I don't think I would ever be able to rec replicate within Serum or, you know, analog or operator or anything like that. I mean, you can do it. You know, you just got to kind of think about the amp amplitude envelope, making sure that there's quite a decent amount of attack time, sustain and release times. You know, a lot of modulation with pitch, but very subtle modulations, you know, and then obviously your your filter kind of add a form and filter or bandpass filter or something you know add a chorus maybe phaser flanger anything like that just to kind of add a little bit more tonality and harmonics to it and then obviously yeah just play around with your modulations your automation and everything like that but the whole idea is to take a sample i mean we took a vocal sample and we turned it into an atmosphere type sample and then you know what you can do is you can just record it down record down the sounds that you like and and save them off and then obviously you can extend on them further maybe add you know um, another debut glitch or go and add your stutter edit and then see what you can come up with there but yeah with that being said i think i'm going to leave the video at that i will leave this as a download link so you can obviously download it but you got to make sure that you have all of these isotope iris uh, your ubic uh, phaser and your glitch 2 and trigger gates otherwise you know that it's not gonna you know, there's no point in downloading it but anyway thank you very much for watching the video if you enjoyed it leave a like comment down below if you enjoyed this and if you want to see other videos please leave a comment and i will definitely get back to you and i'll try and try my best to to do a tutorial on whatever suggestion you give me uh with that being said smash that subscribe button if you haven't already and also hit that bell button on the side if you want to see more content from me but thank you very much for watching
watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.